What's up, everybody? I got Daz. I'm inviting him in here. Let's see if we can get this going. Okay. All right. All right. I'll All right. get we'll to make... go. Yeah, we're making things work here. Okay, cool. That was a little bit more smoother than I thought. The last time we did that, I had trouble, we had trouble with the invites. Um, but yeah, I'll just jump into it. So it's four o'clock. We're here on time, actually. So hi, everybody. Um, my name is Pat. I'm with Autopot. You all know Daz with Night Owl Seeds. And we're here today to you know do a live for you all and go over some new things that are up and coming and talk about a uh, previous uh, growth that we just kind of finished. So First, first things first, Daz, I'm going to let you get into it. Um, let's talk about your drop tomorrow. What do you got kicking? Oh, yeah. Um, doing a little, small little drop tomorrow. Um, a bunch of stuff that has been previously released as testers is now upgraded to Secret Owl Society. And, and it's going to be smaller than most of my other drops, so it should be a, a fun one. Um, a lot of the stuff, um, well, a few of the things I'm expecting to, to sell out, but who knows. I, I never can judge these things properly, so... Yeah. People may may grab them all. There may be stuff left over for a week or so. Who knows? We'll we'll find out once it, it happens. But hopefully the website's all sorted out and no more crashing and I've been assured we're we're good to go. Um I was assured of that before, but yeah, who knows? Hopefully this time we are actually good to go and, and yeah, no more crashes. So we'll find out it, tomorrow night at ten. For sure. Is there any like any one specific seed that or strain they have coming out that you're like you're pretty excited about or no? Or just like because I I'm, saw there's quite a few. I saw like a marathon cut with a purple marathon or something. Yeah, that one's going to be a good one. We did a mm -hmm. small release of that for for Halloween. Um, the, the chipped tooth uh, I'm I'm excited about. The milk and cookies F2 is real Ooh, good. Nice. Uh, Mondo Smash is just another a phenomenal one. So I'm I'm excited about them all really. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's cool. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I'm going to get on there and check it out. So 10 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern time, right? As always. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. I, I appreciate you plugging that. Thank no, you. no problem at all, man. I mean, I appreciate everything from you for the last three months. I mean, 93 days of a night owl run, like, it takes us right into that. Like, I had so much fun running auto flowers. I had not run auto flowers since 2000 and probably 10. And if anybody hasn't seen it, we just put up on the Autopot USA YouTube channel um, the full seed to harvest video. And I think the harvest video, like the smoke report, actually is coming out in the next week or so. So, but, I, man, I just really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I me too. Really good I, things to say. I enjoy watching it. And, uh, a little birdie dropped me off some of that marathon. And man, that was phenomenal. You crushed it. Yeah, man. no, congratulations. I, I appreciate was... it. That was. I took some of that marathon to a local hydro shop for they had a vendor day going on, and people had some very good f flower there, and they were shocked. They were like, "No, nah, this is photo period. You're full of shit." Uh, so I've been using the extreme gardening mycos oh, every yeah. grow for well over a decade. And that guy reached out to me. I mm -hmm. met him a couple times in passing, but he was like, man, I got to try some of Pat's marathon. And any chance <laughs> I can get some of those seeds, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, dude, definitely. So, yeah, that's that was my, cool to, that's to Geo, Geo. They're great people. Yep. At Extreme, man. Good product. And, yeah, he's excited. He's gonna, he's excited to run, though. So, yeah, man, I, it was a really good run. I mean, I told a lot of people I just ran water. I definitely saw some deficiencies and some strains. But the marathon, I felt, like, really plugged its way through. So oh, yeah. She looked great. Yeah, that one was really good. But I actually, I think I was talking to you about it yesterday, but I really liked that um, the banner had that, like, a really good, that, that strawberry in there. And I, I, I really like that difference. Like, so I had the, you know, different things to play with. Oh, yeah, they, they complement each other really well. We actually crossed those two together, and, man, that, that came out fire, too. We called that one the Gamathon. But, okay. yeah, both of those are, are phenomenal. Yeah. So you, you started off with, uh, with some good stuff there. Yeah, I was pretty I was pretty excited. I think, I can't remember, I think Luke gave me those, the Dark Owl ones yeah. initially yeah. on top. So I, I felt pretty fortunate with what I ended up picking out, for sure. Yeah, you for sure. did real good with them. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty easy. Build the Soil was great. Um, yeah, no complaints on that one at all. So anybody check that one out if you get a chance. It's a little bit longer video than we usually do, but it was, it was fun to make for sure. Yeah, I'm going to be running some build a soil 3.0. I'm trying yeah. that out with the auto pots now, just water only in the res. Yeah. So I'm transplanting some some strawberry milk and cookies remix for the I'm doing a grow up uh, grow off with from seed to stone on his Discord channel. Awesome. So everybody there's like, I don't know, 100 200 people all growing the strawberry milk and cookies remix at the same time. So nice. I got in on that. And yeah, I'm going to be trying the 3.0 for the first time ever. See how that does. I liked it. And we sent ours in for the reamendment. Um, I probably got the email about that. I need to check that. And um, But I really liked it. I did amend with the um, 
the gnarly barley initially. Oh. I should have broken it up. I didn't. I just like threw it in like corn pieces. I did that same thing. thing. Yes. Up. Yeah, I did that same exact thing. I didn't know it needed to be ground up first. So I had a whole no. bunch of stuff. Like I don't know if my wife would want me putting that in our food processor anyways, but yeah. you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I was, I definitely dug it. I see. Yeah. Girl off baby. You got some people commenting in there. It's hard to keep up with. I don't know. Manny, Manny tries to keep up with that when you're on this, like answering people. That's tough. Uh, I'm too ADD for that. I can't even look at it. Yeah. I'm so distracted. <laughs> same, same. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yes, I get, you know, I really liked everything I had. So that kind of, you know, we got a few questions from everybody. Um, they, you know, Luke and Manny, they got a bunch of questions. But, like, when you're finding these strains, because, like, Marathon was so good. It was so nuggy. Like, is there anything, like, specific you're looking for, like, in a strain when you're trying to, you know, when you're growing for breeding? That one, yeah, was just try to lock in that OG as best as possible. And that was one okay. that I was real proud of because, I mean, I've grown a lot of autoflower OGs. And, I mean, the, they, they don't come close to what we, we did with that one. So yeah. I'm yeah. super stoked on that. Actually, I'm, I've got the, the Marathon on cut heading back to me so i'm gonna do a, a back cross on that one and Ooh. work it back out to auto again and just try to lock everything in even even harder so yeah, yeah that i'm was, a big fan of that mac one yeah yeah i was definitely um proud of that one for sure i'm proud of all of them but yeah the, the og and that really just yeah it yeah. hit me in my guts there yeah. so she's a heavy smoke she gets me real real stoned and yeah i, I, I love that one i mean i'd be proud of it it's one of those it's one of those strains that i grew that like and it's funny that you're proud of it because i was proud of it and yeah. sometimes like you're proud of it where you talk to me and you're like oh it's cool i really liked it or here's my video check it out but like i was proud enough where some other people like said some birdies dropped it off to some people yeah. and i did the same thing for some other people so i was like man you have to try this yeah like you need to try this you need to like look into these auto flowers i know what you do like a lot of like the sales reps and marketing people like myself who don't have as much time we don't want two tents you know, we're looking for one that we can run, you know, 18, 24 hours a day. And I mean, it blew it away, man. It did really good and yielding everything. I don't think I mentioned to many people, but I only grew those three plants in that five by five, right? Um, I wish I would have grown four. I definitely should have grown four, but I still yielded, it was like 24 total ounces. And awesome. the marathon alone was 10, yeah. which like blew my mind. I was like, dude, that thing was, it was just great. So I really felt like if I would have put a full solid, you know, canopy in there, it'd been an easy two pounds. And that's what really caught me because we see the autopotamuses out there mm -hmm. doing his heavy weights. And I know he does a good job of picking out strains too. Um, sure. So, but I, I mean, what's the most weight you've seen pulled from like anybody like in a, under a single light that you've heard driveway? Yeah, that easily autopotamus with his 26 and a half ounces off the grape Debo was just insane. Like, yeah, that's it's hard yeah. for me to wrap my head around that. Yeah. It was a monster. Yeah, he does a good job. He got he has that extra tundra climate. It helps yeah. him, helps him grow. But no, um, but yeah, that's 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 awesome. I um I definitely like everything that, that he shows with your stuff. And I, I'm just you know, you sold me on it. It didn't take much, but I think people have to try it once they try it, especially with auto pot and the bio and the build a soil. Mm -hmm. It just made it all so so easy for me. And, and yeah, that marathon you grew it, it my favorite compliment is from like photo period guys that get some and smoke it and are like, that's amazing. Like, I, yeah. how is that an auto? And that's kind of yeah. what the Mike Ghost guy hit me up. It was like, I couldn't believe it was an auto. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Kudos they, to you, man. You, you did a great job with nah, it. No, definitely. I appreciate that. It's so, you know, and I love, and you know, and why I picked all the strains that I picked were it was the chem cut. It was the OG mix. And so that's why I picked them initially. So we have people asking these questions, like, what's your gassiest strain? Probably the marathons up there. Okay. The Wizards Apprentice can get real gassy. The Chem ninety one stuff can get gassy. Yep. Um, there's some Queen's Banner phenos that are super gassy. So there's a lot, a lot out there that that has that back end. But as okay. of currently available stuff, I'd say the the Chem stuff is probably up there, and the marathon stuff is is yeah the the most gassy stuff I have available right now. Nice. And what about the candy guys? What about the guys that want the sweet? There's a lot. Um, the Mango Isle, the Zamodelica Express, the Strawberry Milk and Cookies stuff, um, the Electric Kool-Aid, the Blue Microverse. Yeah. It's like I, I've put out so many, so many different varieties now. It's like, man, I really got to rack my brain to, to remember all of them and just what's what. But yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff as as of right now currently available. The the Mondo Smash for sure, okay. um, the Strawberry Cheesequake. So okay. yeah, there's a lot of a lot of real good. 
fruity okay. stuff out there, sweet stuff. And, and you do a great job with your names and everything. So from a marketing aspect, I got to ask you, who's making all these awesome stickers for you? Like, is that you? Are you designing all these? No, it's my buddy Zawan okay. on Instagram, Z A W A N. Okay. Yeah, that's he's he's the man. I, I go to him with an idea and he brings it to life and yeah. it's a perfect synergy with somebody that was like into what I was doing and into growing auto flowers and I had two previous designers before that. Um one was the original designer that made the very first logo okay. and before I even had like the stickers printed up the packaging or anything i was already asking him to do other logos and stuff i was like all right well i'm gonna need like a christmas one and a halloween stuff and he just didn't see the vision at all he was like bro you haven't even sold a pack yet like why are you worried about like yeah. doing these and i was like i i didn't leave I, I didn't have anything else to fall back on this is what i want to be doing this is what i was going to do like when yeah. i set my mind to something i do it and like there was no room for failure with what i was doing i just went you know dedicated myself to it and only put out the best of the best of the best, and that's what it was. And I built my reputation off that, and I continue that to this day. That's all I do is just, you know, put out the very best to my ability. So no, you yeah, kill, you I, kill it on all that stuff. And that's funny thing is, is that you just like uh, we definitely got given up. What what's the exact Instagram for anybody that wants to look it up again? Zawan Z A W A N. All right, you guys got to at Zawan because everybody knows if you got decent amount of followers, I'm sure dads, you get ten a day at least. Like, hey, can I make you a logo? Yeah. And those guys oh, yeah. scan you every day. So oh, to know yeah. that there's a guy out there, like, yeah, go, let's, let's well, support it. Now with the AI art, it's like even worse. Like everybody is out there making logos and they all kind of look so similar. Yeah. And, they're weed plants right. with the Christmas trees. Yeah. It, it's yeah. cool. Like it's cool. And I like the way that they're pushing that side yeah. of things, but <clears throat> I'm more old school comic book, like actually hand to paper, pen to paper art stuff. Okay. So, and Zawan's nice. great at that. We kind of grew up in the same era, like the, the 90s heyday of comic books and everything. And he's super into graphic design cool. and hand drawing. He's cool. an amazing artist, yeah. not just digitally, but physically painting. I've got some amazing paintings from him. He's an amazing drawer. Like he's just all around a super talented cat. So yeah, I couldn't have asked for anything better to to work with these no some of awesome. those halloween ones were so cool i think there's a ghostbuster one that really got me i think it's actually stuck to my water bottle <laughs> like, i you know there's just some cool ones and yeah it, it, I, I i dig it a lot i dig it a lot right um let's see let's see let's see what else i got here because i don't want to keep you too long I, I hate the ig lives that last like 40 minutes you know like because we had a decent amount of questions so i got i think roughly like 10 questions uh -huh. we'll rip through them for the people Okay. Um, I think I, you know, you know, I'll, I'll try to search through here, see if there's anything on here that we really want to bring up, but I'm trying to rapid fire some shit for you guys. Um, are you a plastic or fabric pot guy? I like plastic pots. My, okay. my whole entire life I've, I've always grown in plastic pots, went from five gallon buckets to, you know, plastic bags back to five gallon buckets mm -hmm. and then, um, some big square pots. And then I found auto pots and that was just. I mean, that was you, it. There's no need to the, go to anything use else. Do you use the 6.6 or yeah. do you use the 3.9? The 6.6, the big girl? I use okay. them both. But, yeah, the 6.6 is my, my main go-to. Um, I'm now just starting to get into the trade of grows, which I think is going to be a game changer for, for helping me to select and, okay. like, run a bunch of small little – I bought the AC Infinity grow bag little, little like, fabric pots. Yeah. I've got the quarter gallon and the half gallon. So that's what I'm going to be starting on my plants in from now on on the trade to grow. At least this is the plan in my head. I'm going to implement it here in the next couple of weeks. Nice. And uh, yeah, then go from the small pot up the little AC Infinity grow bag and just transplant it into the big 6.6 .6 gallon. And I'm hoping with the trade to grow system and the fabric pots that there's no transplant shock, that they grow and, and really get big in those little pots with the trade to grow. So I'm excited yeah. to see how that, that turns out. It'll be my first time ever using any sort of automation or auto watering for my smaller smaller pots. So I, I, I dug it. it. I did it with initially I did it was it was kinda of hilarious looking to me because I only had six plants, so I had six solo cups in this big thing. But I mean it kept up, it did a really good job. So I dig the trade girl. I think it's very versatile. I I liked it with the bag this run, so I I, I think you're definitely gonna enjoy it. Um uh, but you actually brought up one of the other questions there kind of was are you going to transplant? Do you like to transplant or do you just try to go like right to that auto pot and then water your way in? I always say that if I'm growing for, for bud, for yield, for flower, uh, just straight into the final pot. But I've transplanted 
done it so long on so many runs in a row now that I really don't even know the last time I've actually just started something and put it into its final pot. It's probably been a, a yeah. couple of years. Okay. So. I'm, I'm so used to doing the transplants at this point that that's just what I do. It allows me to start way more plants and see which are the most vigorous from the get. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of what I do now. Um, so I if that's what, it, yeah, like, I'll say if that's what you're doing, what do you recommend for people that like are buying your seeds then? Yeah, like, I'd say go straight into the final pot. Final. Yeah. If you're doing breeding stuff, I've released a bunch of auto regs and a lot of people have started to make their own crosses. So cool. for those people, just for the sake of like running more and doing a better selection and having bigger numbers to really see what you're you're creating, I would yes. I'd recommend starting in smaller pots and transplanting once they sex. But okay. yeah, for just if you're growing for flower for yield, go straight to the final pot. Okay. And are you are you putting anything in your res or are you just putting you just running organic dirt? Uh I try to only run organic dirt, but the auto pots, they just grow such monsters that I've ran out of, of my super soil mixes has been depleted with, yeah. with these guys getting so big. So I've had to use Canna Bio, their organic line, and okay. I've used BioBiz alternating with those. Um, I've done some top dressing with the super soil mix in the past. But yeah, this time, like I said, I'm going to try the 3.0, and I've heard that that's got enough nutrients in it that it should last the entire run. So I'm excited that's to awesome. see how, how this one does water only the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed BioBiz when I did it. Um, one of the messiest runs of my life. Uh, <laughs> it just, I, I actually enjoy the smell of it when you're mixing it up and everything. Oh, yeah. and then it goes rank in a couple of days, and it's just, yeah. it could be pretty nasty. But, well, that's an easy one. Um, here, someone wanted, they had an in general question for you. Um, how long is it in generally from the time you germinate that seed till you start flower? I like to chop everything by 85 days. With some of these auto pots, like I said, the the size, just the sheer size yeah. and the fact that they veg longer, they can go a little bit longer, but yeah. it always makes up for it and, and the extra weight at the end. But yeah, I, I aim for 75 to 85 days, and that's using my normal method of transplanting, um, up potting into the, the final 6.6 .6 gallons. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's always my, my goal. Some go a little bit longer, some are a little bit quicker, but... Yeah, I always try to keep everything within that, that 75 to 85 day range from, okay. from sprout. Yeah, see, I felt like I was close. Like, that's when I really felt like I was, like, ready to take down. And I ended up taking down at 93, I think it was. And, and it was just because I kept watching them, and I was like, this one looks so much nicer than this one. So maybe this guy will just get me a little bit of weight at the end. And the funny thing was about that was it was a serious blue. And mm -hmm. I was like, man, maybe she'll dense up a little bit. And she gave me more weight than I thought she would. For sure. sure. But I did a video of it and it was funny because it was that whole 23 and a half gallon tray to grow, right? Uh -huh. And out of that 23 and a half gallon tray to grow, only about a quarter of it when I pulled the roots out was taken up by that serious blue as to where the other three quarters of pot was 100% all marathon. Yeah. Like it just, it won the battle. So yeah. I think that's where you might get, I think running similar strains in those pots will be good, but. Yeah, that's a, uh, I could see like when you want to take down one, but then you kind of want to wait on others. So, so you when you're running, the, yours, go ahead, sorry. Were you using the grassroots uh, fabric pot in that, or, or what were you doing? No, I used the, the, uh, to grow? the one that came with the auto pot. It's okay. very similar, just not quite as, um, probably not great for not IG Live, but not quite as pretty. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it, it, it worked and it did its thing for yeah. sure. I do have a grassroots one for my next run. They were nice okay. enough to send one out. So I'm really excited to use it. I think it has great support for the trellis and everything. So yeah, it'll, be, been, it'll be nice. Uh, I would like to experiment with some of those beds and maybe try to make like a little small living soil continuous use bed out of one of the trader grow systems. Like they're so versatile. I'm really looking forward yeah. to, to sinking my teeth into them. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get to play a lot with it. I think uh, if Luke, Luke sent you one yet. Yeah, uh, actually, he sent me one to try a while ago, and I bought five more, I think. Uh, so, yeah, awesome. I, I, I haven't used any of them yet, but I, just seeing everybody else's results, I was like, well, there's this is a good to go. This is well tested, well thought out, well designed and engineered. So, yeah, I have no problem. It's pretty, you know. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. So, like, so this is your first run with this when you got to get to it. You've been running the plastics. With your plastics, have you been running air bases or air domes, or have you just been running normal? I use the air bases. I used to use the expanded clay pellets, yep. but I could never seem to get the exact kind of height of how, how much I should have in there down dialed in. Yeah. And so I think that caused some issues with my very first run with, with the auto pots. Yeah. And then after switching to the air bases, I mean, they've just been, it's incredible the difference between so the easy. roots and that versus the roots I got when I <clears throat> didn't add enough, <clears throat> 100%. Me, didn't add enough clay pellets and, and, 
kind of got way oversaturated and it just caused all sorts of issues. But as soon as I switched to the air bases, yeah, man, those are, those are incredible. That's, uh, I, I would highly recommend if you're running auto pots, just spend the extra couple of bucks and grab those. Cause then you don't have to you take all the guesswork out of it. It's set up the way it's supposed to be set up and you're good to go. Yeah, they pay for themselves quick because you know yeah. hydro, the clay pebbles aren't easy. Everybody's getting things shipped nowadays because the hydro no one's no one's supporting the hydro stores enough. So everybody's getting everything shipped in these big bags of pebbles or whatever. They're just they're heavy. They're not. It's not economical. Yeah. So yeah, and definitely can, shout out to the air bases. Yeah, and the reusability of the air bases too is awesome. Not just chucking mm -hmm. the the hydro tin at the end of the run. So they're yeah. they're, they're great. I would I wouldn't wouldn't run them without it at this point. Now that I know the difference. Yeah. It's like. One of those things you don't know what you don't know until you find out you didn't know it. And yeah, those air bases, they were a game changer, just the same as the auto pots were. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, yeah, I would never run it without. Like, even like, I would just wait if for yeah. some reason, like, I didn't have it with me. I would just wait and run it because the pebbles, everything at the end, it's just, it is satisfying too when you take off the, that, that air base at the end and you see all those roots. Like, it's, that, that's yeah. nice. That's definitely nice. Um, I, I actually really, had an odd question, and I don't know if you can answer this, but you probably can. Light leaks. Does the light leak with an auto affect it like a photo period? Like, can you herm out if you have a light leak with an auto? Because I know, like, I ran 24 hours, so I didn't care. But these guys that run 18.6, like, should they worry? I I never have. Okay. Honestly, I, I never have. Um, I haven't seen any light-induced herms. That's not to say it can't happen. I keep my tent sealed up and I try to keep the lights off anytime, you know, the lights are off in the tent, yeah. but uh, there, there's been plenty of times where I've had to go in and do something, turn the lights on and, you know, I've not seen any signs of, of stress or herm or negative impact from it. So that is yeah. one of the benefits of auto is they aren't as susceptible to that. Um, they're going to do their thing, whether or not they have, you know, 12 hours of light, 18 hours of light, 24 hours of light. So yeah, they're, they're, more um, time dependent than actual light photo period dependent. Okay. So I haven't ever had any issues with that. Um, and I really haven't heard any, anybody having issues with that, but I don't also want to get on here and say, you know, the end I'll be all, you're never going to have a herb from a light. Yeah. With autos, so yeah, I haven't experienced it. Do you have guys that run a 12, 12? Does no, guys no. Have... Oh, no. I mean, I, I do, but it's not recommended. There's people that'll throw them in just with their, their photo periods just to see what they do. Yeah. But I, I, I never recommend that. You always cut back on the yield. They tend to get yeah. a little stretchier. And yeah, I just, I, I don't recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Easy, easy enough. Say so you just, yeah, you intrigued my interest. I'm like, why would you want to run that 12 hours? So I remember initially I was talking to a really smart guy back at the grocery store back in the day. And he told me that he's like, they're such a fast growing plant. They need as much time to eat and go as they can because it's yeah. beginning to end. And, you know, something we didn't discuss yesterday, um, someone brought up on one of my videos was um, de-leafing. Like, uh, I think they said maybe I de-leafed a little too much because um, I really did treat it like a photo period, day 21 of what I kind of thought was flower. Like, sure. I went in there and I went crazy. Um, do, you, do you do that or do you recommend that or should we uh keep it together? I, I do, um, especially, I, I never really did before. I would always do leaf tucking. But again, the auto plants just make such huge plants. Like it, yeah. I feel like a shill even saying this, but it's 100% the truth. They just grow such monster plants that you have to go in and pluck some leaves yeah. or else the bud sites are going to be covered. And to maximize yield, that's just that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Also, the autos have been bred back to photos so many times now that their resilience and just their hardiness, I mean, they were always hardy plants, but it's at a whole nother level now. You can pluck. I've seen some immense defoliations, and the plants didn't didn't slow down, didn't miss a beat. So yeah, yeah, and I, that's I, what the that's what the dude said. I think he said something along the lines of studying the plant because you don't want to like really piss it off. And I know that's something we would do even in the commercial setting because you don't, you know, obviously have too many. You don't have too many plants to piss off. So you would always try not to take over too much in a day. Um, but yeah, that's that's good to know. That was something I was definitely thinking about and uh, wondering yeah, if I, I if I overdid it. I used to see <clears throat> when you would uh, strip a plant like that back in the day, five, seven, eight years ago, it would really seem like the plant would take a week to recover from it and kind of add that time on yeah. to the end of the flowering cycle. But I just, I haven't noticed that anymore. They just, there's, there's so much biomass with these yeah. plants now that, yeah, it doesn't seem to, to cause any issues. Yeah. No, so much. And, and like you said, we're going to, we're honestly, we're not trying to toot the horn of the auto pot, but it was at one point in this grow, like I went out there, I did a video, it was like day 60 or something. And I went in the next day and I looked at the video. And I was like, why didn't you 
pluck everything in there. Like it was so thick, and yeah. and so that was nice to watch him get from so little to so big, and to see the differences too. Like to see that um, serious blue, like initially start so big and bushy, and then watch the marathon just like oh, I couldn't yeah. believe the marathon overtook like it did. Like what a I'm gonna give you praise again for that one. That's such a good story. Right. That's such a good. I'll run that. I'll run that every time. I appreciate like, that's so good. that. But you gotta take some credit yourself. You're the one that grew it. And, I mean, you do. At that point, once I make the seeds, it's all on you to to really yeah. maximize it and bring it to its full potential. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. I mean, Jeremy too, man. The build is little. He was super helpful anytime I had any questions. Um, yeah, that was. It was just an easy run, man. So so I mean, obviously, we both believe Autopots are still the best. Like, yeah, yes, 100%. like I said, I'm, I'm For anybody there. I've kind of <laughs> built my reputation on, you know, not not sugarcoating stuff, not bullshitting people and just telling the truth. And this is why I don't like say much for a bunch of different companies because I don't mm -hmm. fully believe in them. But this product is something that, you know, I, I, I stand behind. It's it's yeah. done nothing but but great for me. So I, yeah, I no, I'm the same. Like, I've I been running guess, long, long before I ever started working with Luke and Manny. Uh, when I had a hydro store not eight, nine years ago, like, you know, everybody can look back at my IG page. I was still running them, loving them because it gives you that time. And I, that's my biggest thing I always tell her, but you get the time and I know you're a busy guy too. So we're not trying to be down there watering every day, mixing newts every day and checking a runoff and all this other, and, and I know it's fun for everybody to have a good time doing that stuff, but it's just not for me. Like we got busy lives. So yeah, that's, that's where I always like kind of toot the horn beyond the pot. Yeah, some, I, I'm, I'm the opposite. Sometimes I get too bored if the setup is too easy with the super soil or whatever. So I get out there, start tinkering. I'm like, what can I add? How, what can I do to, to make this a little bit better? Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I'll just grow more plants. That'll fill up my yeah. time better than trying to tinker with something that I've already dialed in. Yeah. No, I had a buddy say that same thing. He said, dude, I can't run auto pots anymore because it, I just don't go in my garden. He's like, I don't feel like I have a need to go in my garden. <laughs> so I was like, I think that's what we're trying to do for you, buddy. So yeah, that's a good problem to this. have. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But no, man, I really appreciate your time today, Daz. Um, before we go, I do want to mention the seed job again tomorrow, 329. Is that on your website? What's your website? Yeah, nightowlseeds.com. I'm, I'm, okay. Everything will be up either later tonight or early tomorrow for you to go and check out. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going back and forth with card processors. I've got a new card processor that is a much cheaper rate and better overall, but also nice. I can't put descriptions on the site or else the okay. like AI, whatever audit will come and see keywords and then suspend my account, even though it's a legal CBD hemp account, like specifically right. for hemp or whatever. So yeah. I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to go for it, put the site, put the descriptions up as usual, use my old card processor and, and say, fuck it. They've been good to me as long as we've been working together. So why not? Yeah. But everything will be up on the site either later tonight or early tomorrow. Once I get that figured out, Awesome. Yeah, it'll be good to go tomorrow night. Drop it at 10 p.m. Eastern time, and hopefully the site doesn't crash. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, I, I look forward to it. I mean, I'll, I'll be checking it out. I have some buddies that'll be checking it out too. So, I mean, I, I really appreciate that. your time, Daz. And I mean, yeah. thanks everybody for watching. You know, we're gonna put this video up and you know make some clips for you guys. But yeah, definitely appreciate your time today, man. Yeah, appreciate all the questions. And if you guys have more questions, throw them throw them in the comments or whatever, and maybe we'll do another one of these here soon. Awesome, man. And we'll enjoy the rest of your day. Everybody else do the same, and we'll see you guys later. Same to you, brother. Yeah. Thank you.